Dear February, you're cold. And the forecast for today is 36 degrees Fahrenheit with a chance of very icy rain and what I like to call snuggle weather. Hey Glitter Critters, it's been very rainy and cold this week. It's that perfect weather for sleeping in, lounging around the house, and relaxation. My pug Jeffrey really isn't a big fan of rain, so he was happy to stay in. So back in August of 2022, in the first weeks after moving into my cozy little vintage apartment, I began renovating each room in my imagination. The first room on my list being my poor, broken down bathroom. I had no idea how I was going to fix it up, but what I did have was determination and a dream. I totally believe in manifestation and bringing positive thoughts into reality. So I decided since I didn't have the money to renovate my bathroom, I would at least start to fix it. And I started to do things I knew I could do on my own. On the spiritual end of the spectrum, I was persistent in picturing my bathroom in my mind, looking beautifully renovated with modern flooring, walls, and decor. And seriously, every time I walked into my bathroom in the morning, I would greet it with, Good morning, beautiful bathroom. Even though it looked like a total dump. To help with my mind imagery, I created a mood board on Pinterest with some of my favorite bathroom decor styles, wallpaper, flooring, and color palettes. With the power of manifestation, I thrusted these ideas into the universe with an unwavering thought process. I paired these thoughts and images in my mind with relentless gratitude for their existence. Although, at this time, my bathroom renovation was merely a thought in my mind. The key to manifesting what you want is to be grateful as if you already have it. I'll link my Pinterest board in the description below if you'd like to use it for your own inspiration. After some time, I feel like the universe just felt sorry for me, so it sent me someone who had come to the rescue in my life many times before, and that was my cousin Doug. So, Doug is my first cousin on my mom's side of the family. My mom is his aunt. He runs his own construction company, and he's been a carpenter and builder for most of his life. He would come over to visit me periodically after I moved in, and he could see that I was helplessly trying to renovate the bathroom on my own and offered to help me with a few things. But what I didn't realize is he had his own plans in mind. He was planning to renovate the bathroom himself. I would also like to add that all of this was done with kindness and love. No money was ever exchanged, except for the supplies he purchased at our many trips to Lowe's and Home Depot. Me and my cousin Doug's relationship goes back a long time. So Doug used to live with me and my mom back in the early 2000s during a rough patch in his life and our bond really grew stronger during that time. He was more like a father figure to me as I was growing up. He's the oldest grandchild and I'm the youngest on my mom's side, which is the reason for our age difference. He's always been there when me and my mom needed him most and we were always there for him. Just like the circle of life, he has come back around once again to help me in my time of need. So this was my bathroom before from top to bottom, side to side. I know it's not the most horrible looking bathroom ever, but it's definitely not cute either. For me, a bathroom is where I go to find peace and relax. If anything, this bathroom did the opposite of that. 
That's why it was so important to me to start the renovations immediately. But until we could start the renovations, I focused on tasks I knew I could accomplish to improve the bathroom, and that was to clean. Cleaning makes me feel powerful. It's a way of taking back my power from something that makes you feel like shit, like a dirty house. When you're finished, you have something so much better than when you started. And I've always found cleaning to be very therapeutic. It's a great way to improve your mood if you have any mental health struggles too. During the cleaning process, I realized if I was gonna clean around the edge of the tub, I would need to sadly tear down this ugly shower wall, which was so satisfying. As I ripped it down, I reached the part where the faucet was so that had to go and once I pulled it off it revealed all the plumbing behind it when I looked inside of the wall I noticed tons of mouse shit and thank goodness I had this little handheld vacuum and I was able to vacuum all of that shit out of there. You can clearly see how dirty everything was. There was years of caulking that had been glued around this tub. Next, I moved on to the sink. This thing wasn't as bad as the tub, but it definitely had its moments. So after doing everything I possibly could on my own, I was at that point to where I was in need of more professional help. We ran into a few problems because there were some leaks and plumbing issues that needed to be fixed before the renovation. Once the bathroom was reasonably repaired, the time had come to start seriously renovating. The most important thing to me was the shower and bathtub. It was so dilapidated and I just couldn't stand looking at it anymore. Soon after that, Doug showed up with these giant heavy concrete boards and his skill saw. I've never been so excited to see something as random as concrete board. This turned out to be day one of our renovation. As he cut and drilled the concrete board to the shower wall, I did whatever I could to help. And you know, Jeffrey also had to be right in the middle of everything, as always. This was very exciting for him. Doug had to fix part of the shower walls during the installation because there were pieces missing and it just had to be somewhat level. And a bit later, he fixed the leaky tub faucet and sink and there were other little structural imperfections that he had to fix. So Doug mentioned that he had some extra tiles from a previous job he had worked on and he could bring them over for the shower. But unfortunately, it just wasn't enough to do my entire shower, but we would still use those tiles later. That meant a fun-filled trip to Lowe's to find some reasonably priced subway tiles for the shower. So we found a really great deal on white subway tiles and we were ready to check out. While we were in the checkout line, I had to make some jokes about caulk, wood, and several other things to embarrass Doug in front of a lot of the people he knew in the slows. I can't stop laughing at this clip of him just running away because he couldn't take the embarrassment anymore. Oh, you know them? Well, now you know them even more. <laughs> Luckily for Doug, we were ready to leave and start laying these tiles. The tiling process was pretty fun. It was kind of like a game of Tetris or something. We used a lot of liquid nail, which I don't recommend getting that stuff on your hands because you're gonna need acid to get it off. So Doug squirted like a ton of this liquid nail all over the concrete board. Keep in mind, neither one of us has ever laid tile before. Even though Doug's in the construction industry, he's usually the boss and he's never laid tile professionally before. So it was kind of like the blind leading the blind. Mind. All Doug knew was the pattern to lay the subway tiles in and I just followed his lead and we both did it. It was a lot of fun and it was kind of like a puzzle. We were able to lay all of this tile within maybe an hour and a half to two hours. It went by really fast. 
And, you know, we had a lot of fun doing it. We were talking and just spending a lot of time together. We had lunch that day and we really just enjoyed the process. It wasn't just some boring work effort. It was a fun experience. So I did the honors of laying the last tile and the shower was complete. So we weren't finished laying tiles yet. We decided on this beautiful black subway tile wainscot wall around this heater. These were the tiles Doug said he had in storage earlier. And so we used some extra to go near the sink to create this cute little mini backsplash. So because Doug and I had absolutely no experience laying flooring, he called in his expert construction crew to lay this beautiful wood laminate. There was some extra flooring from a previous job site and it was just enough to do my bathroom. I used a lot of recycled materials in this renovation and it just saved a lot of time and money. Next up was the painting process. And I know we should have done this before the flooring, but the whole process was really sporadic and we didn't know when we would have time to do certain things. So we filled in the time slots as they came. Next, my cute little sink area got a makeover. We took down that old busted mirror and put up a brand new medicine cabinet mirror and Doug installed an all new sink faucet. One of our final tasks was to lay this beautiful woodland themed wallpaper. I just want to give an extra special thanks to Amy Ferguson. She is one of the most amazing people. She actually purchased a lot of these things you see in this video from my Amazon wish list. Some include the wallpaper, shower head, and these LED lights we installed above the shower. Thank you so much, Amy, and I don't know what we would have done without you. So last, Doug installed some missing hardware, cabinet handles, shower fixtures, and we installed an all-new vanity light. After two full weeks, the bathroom renovation was complete. I'm speechless over how amazing this bathroom turned out. It exceeded all of my wildest dreams and expectations. Thank you so much to my cousin Doug for making all of this possible. I love you very much and I couldn't have done it without you. You may notice some new pieces we added to the bathroom a bit later in these clips. One of which is this three-tier vanity light. And we also installed a medicine cabinet with a mirror. This has more storage since I don't have any under the sink storage compartment. You may also notice new shelving and bathroom accessories. So I'm still planning to paint the bathtub along with the sink. I'd like to thank Erin from the YouTube channel Timber and Blitzen for purchasing a bathtub painting kit from my Amazon wish list. I'm going to link my Amazon wish list in the description below if you're interested and make sure to leave your name in any future gift messages so whenever I use the gift in my videos I can give you credit. I also created my own Amazon storefront so that way you can shop every single room I feature in my videos and it just makes it easier for you to see all the products that I use. I created a category specifically for all of the items you see in my bathroom including the stuff you see around the tub to the fixtures to the decor. You can find the link to this specific category along with the link to my entire storefront all in the description below. So now let's discuss how the energy of this bathroom has completely shifted. It went from a place that I wanted to run out of immediately to a place that I never wanted to leave. And that's why I wanted to indulge in that peaceful ambiance by creating a whimsical, dreamy bath time escape. 
So after spending way too long on Pinterest looking at bathrooms and bath time experiences, I found these things called bath rituals where you decorate the tub, you put lights, candles, snacks, and all sorts of things that just give you happy energy around the tub. They burn sage and they add different herbs to the water for their medicinal properties, but I chose to exclude the ritual aspect of it and focus more on the decorations, the aesthetic, and the vibe, and the sweets. I made these super simple yet delicious sugar cookies. I adorned them with pastel rainbow sprinkles, icing, and frosted flowers. I had to be very careful because there was a certain cookie monster lurking. When I was decorating the cookies, I was inspired by spring. I can't wait for spring, so in the meantime, I created a floral garden of cookies. I highly recommend this cookie recipe. I'll be sure to link it in the description. They tasted fantastic. Now the time has come to enjoy my sweet treats and relax in the bath. I adorned the shower walls with these twinkling fairy lights, sprinkled rose petals into the warm water, and for that relaxing aroma, I added lavender oil and Epsom salts. On my bath caddy, I laid out my delicious homemade sugar cookies, one of my favorite books, The Wind in the Willows, and a cup of lavender tea with cream and sugar. The only thing missing here is yeah, me. As I put the first foot in, it was so warm and the smell of lavender was radiating off the water. It felt heavenly. This is truly what bath time dreams are made of. And so it was agreed. And straight away, the contrite mole was eager to learn from his wise new friend not only about the perils and dangers of the river and its weirs and its sudden floods, but also about its joys. Night fishing with otter, excursions far afield with badger, these things and so much more, until the glowing tiredness of the long day finally overcame him, and it was time for him to lay his happy head on the pillow knowing his other new friend, the river, was lapping close to his window. And as summer ripened and he mastered the skills and learned the delights of running water, he caught something of what the wind was whispering so constantly in the reeds. So I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has been commenting. I really appreciate it. I'm so happy that y'all love the new content. It's a dream to be able to be back on this channel and actually do things that I enjoy, yet also I'm able to be myself at the same time. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the new bathroom renovation. We both worked really hard on it, and I'm very proud of the result. So let me know in the comments what you think. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to become an official Glitter Critter. Thanks for watching, and have a glitterful day. I love you, bye!